hello guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab so first of all just log in with your credentials and once you're done with this click on this checkbox and click on agree and continue now just activate your cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that now what you have to do just simply click on this continue in description box i will share one github link just open that link and then you will able to access this document okay now just copy all this command at the same time copy all this command click on got it let me increase the text size okay now run all the command at the same time click on authorize now just wait for this command get execute it's asking like do you want to reset the password so just press yes and hit enter now just wait and see here you can see we are getting this error no need to worry about this error if you read this error it's saying instance may not ready to use so no need to worry about that basically what you can do just simply search for the vm instance open this thing in new tab come back over here okay just wait and then click on this three bar and from here choose the internal ip click on this checkbox and click on ok ok now what you have to do first of all here you can see vm best and host click on this rdb option and click over here download this file to your local system ok once you're done with this now what we have to do over here first of all we have to log into best and host using rdb after that in best and host rdb we have to log in with secure host i will explain you what we have to do first of all just simply double click over here and if you are using a Mac, so you can use this software called Microsoft Remote Desktop. You can download this software from App Store. Okay. Now what you have to do, just wait. And sometimes what happens, you might get an error like uh, not able to establish a connection. So no need to worry about that. Just skip, as you can see, this error, unable to connect. No need to worry about that. Just simply go back to your finder and again, double click over it. It will happen a couple of times because it takes time to update the score. The reason is this. The instance may not be ready to use okay that's the reason so just wait for a couple of minutes meanwhile what you can do just simply come back over here and on this bastion host click on this down arrow and then click on set a windows password just wait and then simply click on set if you face an error over here also just again do the same progress okay just wait and now just keep this password and again i face the same error no need to worry about that because we are going to face that error couple of times and it's finally done as you can see i have to click on couple of times to get this 
option okay now just copy this password and paste over here and click on continue now just wait click on continue again over here okay so what we have done we have just logged in with best and host rdp okay now please watch the video carefully okay just wait the session is starting Okay, it's done. Now just wait for a couple of seconds. It's still loading as you can see. This loading icon and it's done. Now just simply search over here for RDB. Okay, in Bastion House, you have to just simply search for the RDB. Okay, now just run is run as an administrator okay now just wait click on yes okay just wait now click on this and now for the computer just simply come over here and here you can see secure host just copy this internal ip just copy this ip paste over here like this then simply click on connect now just check the ip for me the ip is 10 0 0 2 okay just wait and now it's asking for the credentials so if you remember we face this error okay now just go back to the notepad and copy this last command copy this last command run over here just wait it will again ask like do you want to continue just press y and hit enter now just wait it is resetting the password and it's done now just copy this username carefully and again i am saying do not copy any extra space just copy the username then copy the password carefully like this okay and paste over here like this and click on okay just wait now click over here on this then click on yes and here you can see now we are logging with the secure host this thing okay if you want you can just cross verify with this internal ip this and this okay both the things are same now just wait for a couple of minutes Now service manager is starting so we just need to work over here okay so just wait and it's done if you want just simply click on yes okay now just wait now click on this add role and features click over here okay just wait again click over here service manager connecting inventory data okay just wait okay so it's done now if you just simply click over here again now you will get this kind of page now what you have to do just simply click on next 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 okay now here make sure you have to just click on this checkbox called web server okay like this and click on add this feature like this okay again click on next 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 and next okay just wait and click on install now this Thing is going to take a couple of minutes to start installing meanwhile you can do just go back to the live instruction click on the check my progress for remaining tasks you will get a score without any issue as you can see we got a score for each and every task okay now just wait for two and it's succeed as you can see now if you just simply come back to over here and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys